Makan Usen. Malaysia State Governor Pemajini Songwulu has received for a harmonious working relationship among the National Inland Waterways Authority, INIWA, relevant federal and state ministries, as well as agencies to enhance water potential of Governor Song Wulu made the call when he received the Senate Committee on Marine Transport and Blue Economy, led by its chairman, Wasu Eshiloku Sani, at the Lagos House, Ikeja. The governor noted that the full potential on the marine ecosystem must be utilized for the benefit of all residents with a call on relevant stakeholders to continue to synergize to achieve optimal results. And so for us, we, we see ourselves as partners with NIWA, with the Federal Ministry of Transport and Marine, in whatever I think, because we are, we are committed, and we believe that they are also equally, equally committed. Um, um, the only little part that where we usually also need to, you know, strengthen that relationship, you know, is always in the area of, you know, um, sand filling, you know, and, and approvals around sand filling. Earlier, the chairman, Senate Committee on Marine Transport and Blue Economy, led by its chairman, Wasu Eshinloku Sani, said members of the committee are in Lagos as part of its oversight function to ensure that the state waterways authority and NIWA are in accord to achieve security in the marine sector. So I have a meeting with you to show you that um, we are here to be shunt. We are here to work with you, and we are to work for the people of Lagos State and the people of um, Nigeria. So, um, basically, it's an oversight function, and then um, you know, oversight function is enshrined as it were in the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as amended. A very critical portion. Our correspondent Abdullah Kinele reports that the committee members on marine transport and blue economy thereafter embarked on an inspection tour of waterfronts in the state. The Lake State Governor Babajide Sohulu has handed over bond certificates worth 4.5 billion naira to 2,000 retirees from the state civil service. Speaking at the 105th Bond Certificate Presentation Ceremony organized by the Lagos State Pension Commission, LASPEC. Governor Songwoli said his administration is committed to upholding the dignity and the financial stability of retirees and extend a gesture to the current workforce who will henceforth be paid as they leave the civil service upon completion of all documentation before retirement. Governor Songwoli commended the retirees for their dedication and selfless service to the state. We have strategically prioritized clearing all backlog of our food pension payments to ensure that our retirees enjoy the dignity and the financial stability after retirement. This commitment extends to the welfare of both current and former members of our workforce, recognizing their unblemished career in the Lagos State Public Service. In a goodwill message, the state head of service, Bodiaguru, who was represented by the Permanent Secretary, Public Service Office, Olasukomi Uyegwala, stated that since 2019, the state government has paid over 59.7 billion naira to over 17,000 retirees. In his opening remarks, Commissioner for Establishment and Training, Afolabi Ayontayo, who was represented by the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry, Olubusola Abidaku, noted that the gesture of Governor Songwulu will bring confidence back on the pension scheme, impact positive on the civil service by improving the lives of workers, boost their morals and productivity. Earlier in a welcome address, Director General Laspec, Babalola Ubilano, acknowledged the dedication civil service of clearance of backlog of retirees accrued pension and all stakeholders for flinging support towards their plight. I encourage the retirees to choose wisely between the program we run and races. Like I said, the two options are tested and they are both good. Within a week from today, the pension fund and the state will have printed their accounts and they will call you to come and decide what option you want. I wish to extend my warmest congratulations to all retirees. May your retirement years be filled with joy, good health, and fulfillment.
correspondent Adiola Akindele reports that the representative of the retirees, Mrs. Rachel Thompson, commended Governor Sohulu for purposeful leadership and his magnanimity in ensuring prompt payment of their reimbursement retirement benefits. As well, let's to reduce the spread in Lagos State, the government urged community development associates and all residents. Special to the Governor on Rural Development, Agbaje, made the call in his address at an interactive session with community leaders and CDAs, imploring attendees to ensure that the essence of the initiative is achieved. of the productive dialogues and resolutions reached during the meeting. Agbaje said the meeting was also part of the intervention measures of the state government to mitigate the spread of the deadly disease, commending Governor Sawoyu for creating a platform for community development associations to interact with the state in addressing salient issues geared towards the development of Lagos State. Earlier in her welcome address, the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry, Kike Lomo Bolariwa, harped on the importance of the interactive session, urging participants to ensure information on hygiene and prevention of cholera, also, representing the Ministry of Health, Director Health Promotions, Olusha Badejo, said government efforts in combating the disease will only be effective when citizens adhere to health guidelines stipulated by the state government. In the same vein, Director Laboratory Services, La Sepa, on Nabisi Shunibari, who spoke extensively on cholera preventive measures, reiterated that the easiest way to collaborate with the state government in combating the disease is by ensuring proper hand washing, proper water distilling, and hygienic practices. Earlier today, operatives of the Lagos State Traffic Management Authority in Lasma swiftly responded to a serious head on collision between two loaded trucks, rescuing a truck driver with broken legs and two others with serious head injuries. Special advisor to the governor on transportation, Sean Lagua, confirmed the accident occurred at a Jekyllian bus stop heading towards Tollgate, Songo, Lagos. Giwa frowned at motorists' misconduct despite ongoing government campaigns against driving against oncoming vehicles and vehicle maintenance, particularly the braking system. Drivers continue to violate the Lagos State Transport Sector Reform Law 2018. He urged all truck drivers and private car owners to avoid speeding and to check the condition of their vehicles, especially during the rainy season, before driving within and outside the state. Just before we go, ensure the registration mark on your vehicle is clear and visible at all times. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms on X, Traffic Radio 961, Facebook, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM, Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. On YouTube, subscribe and watch us live on our channel, Traffic Radio 961. You can also visit our website on www.trafficradio961.ng. Did you know that the Sawulu administration deployed traffic lights and CCTV cameras in strategic places in the state? You can get more details on the Lagos State Government website. For a contact with the newsroom, please send a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. And that ends the news broadcast compiled by Kayodi Mafalashiri. I am Akan Usen. Thanks for listening and please stay safe. Good evening.